Canine pancreatitis is a serious inflammatory disease that can be as deadly as it is difficult to diagnose. Clinical prevalence is believed to be about 2%. However, a recent study suggests many cases go undiagnosed, finding that more than 64% of dogs examined at necropsy have histologic evidence of pancreatic inflammation. And although there's a range of available diagnostics, a definitive result is hard to come by, and often a combination of time-consuming and costly tests is needed to diagnose or rule out pancreatitis. To help veterinarians more effectively diagnose this deadly disease, the Comparative Gastroenterology Society investigated the performance of canine pancreas-specific lipase found in the IDEX spec cpl test. Performance of CPL was compared to serum lipase and serum amylase testing in dogs with a clinical diagnosis of acute pancreatitis. Later, we'll see how the results of the CGS study align with the performance of the in-house SNAP-CPL test, which also measures CPL concentration. This independent research was originally presented at the ACVIM Forum and Canadian Veterinary Medical Association Convention, June 5, 2009. A total of 84 dogs were evaluated for the study, 57 suspected of acute pancreatitis and 27 apparently healthy dogs in the control group. Clinical laboratory and ultrasound information for each dog was reviewed by a panel of four board-certified internists who were blinded to the SPEC CPL result. Dogs were then categorized into one of five predefined groups based on the likelihood each had pancreatitis. Results of the study found that sensitivity of the SPEC CPL test for the diagnosis of pancreatitis was 93%. Specificity for ruling out pancreatitis was 78%. The conclusion, SPEC CPL is better able to discriminate dogs with suspected pancreatitis than amylase and lipase. For superior pancreatitis testing in a pet side assay, the SNAP-CPL test also measures CPL concentration using the same reagents and ELISA methodology as the SPEC-CPL test used in the CGS study. Let's take a closer look at what this means for practitioners and canine pancreatitis protocols. As the CGS study demonstrates, CPL is an important part of the initial workup on dogs presenting with vomiting or abdominal pain. And running the SNAP-CPL test in-house with your baseline chemistry will help you diagnose or rule out acute pancreatitis sooner. Furthermore, while an abnormal SNAP-CPL result helps confirm suspicion of pancreatitis, additional diagnostics are recommended. A SPEC-CPL reflex test at the reference laboratory can provide a baseline value to assess the severity of disease and monitor progression of treatment. For more information about the SNAP-CPL test, go to idex.com slash SNAP-CPL. You have plenty of options for point-of-care testing, but only one with proven ELISA reference laboratory technology and a multi-analyte platform that screens up to four diseases from just one sample. The SNAP line of assays is your first choice for actionable in-house results you don't have to second-guess.